Hey Alpha Fan, welcome back to another episode of Alpha Commission. Today on Alpha Commission, of course, we are going to go over the uh, updates for the uh, Alpha Momentum Pools as well as give some uh, Alpha signals there in case you would like a heads up on uh, bullishness or bearishness. As you can see by the charts, we did fulfill the conditions of the uh, good old Alpha Momentum Pools in order to retain bullishness uh, to the uh, upside. Uh, if we do take a look, at our uh, pools you can see that the critical level that we were supposed to get above was right on top of that uh, blue box uh, we did swim around in the uh, alpha momentum pool for a little while but having captured it just a boom guys just a boom you can see that momentum just uh, screaming up and of course uh, that's why I do make uh, these alpha momentum pools for you uh, just a little bit of my own signature style here and uh, having uh, closed the day uh, you may wonder where we are now. Well, of course, that bullishness is continuing, and so uh, we're not even swimming in the uh, next day uh, alpha momentum pool. Uh, we are uh, just uh, solidly on top of it, which is a great way to uh, start the uh, trading day. Now, it is the weekend, so there will be some divergence between the uh, 24-hour exchanges and the uh, professional exchanges. Do expect some perhaps sinking up on Monday and Tuesday, some type of weekend and shenanigans but overall this is looking uh, fairly bullish and if we can close the day uh, tomorrow afternoon that is Saturday afternoon uh, because it is Friday night uh, where I'm located and if we close uh, the uh, day on a Friday afternoon above, uh, you know, essentially uh, 20,600, then we should be just uh, continuing with our bullish momentum. The two to five day projection stays exactly the same as it's been for uh, uh, yesterday. And uh, that is a critical level of 20,300. We really don't want to dip below 20,300. It can mess us up for the uh, coming week, but uh, uh, being above those two numbers, 20,300, 20,600, uh, things are looking good, especially as we're challenging these local highs here. Uh, guys, if I do put on support and resistance, you can see that uh, effectively uh, we are moving in a range that's um, equivalent to uh, this move over here, this move over here, this move over here, where we do have this kind of line here, we do have this kind of resistance. And so I do expect us to get up to this uh, $22,000 area, perhaps even wicking up to 22500 and that would be totally normal, guys. Like, this is something that we've done before several times in the uh, previous months, and to do it again, it's not not that big of a stretch of the imagination, especially as we retain that momentum to the upside and as we are breaking out of this little uh, local resistance here where we have, uh, you know, uh, rejection, 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 you know, there's just a bunch of little rejections in this area that we've had to uh, fight through and having successfully uh, beaten it and turned this area uh, into support, it looks like um, we are pushing up as I speak. Um, you know, uh, this does uh, suggest that we can uh, continue to see some type of a bullishness. I'm going to go ahead and just turn that, uh, you know, uh, a bullish uh, teal color there because, uh, guys, uh, it looks like we're flipping that resistance into support. And so I'm going to just classify it as support now. And uh, as we are pushing up into this level, you can see some detail. We do have uh, just little like intermediary levels before we get to the uh, big goal. And so probably we have a little bit of a pullback up here around 21,000, maybe around 21,300, maybe around 21,600. But uh, overall, if we can maintain this posture, uh, it does look uh, good, guys. Um, let's go ahead and throw on some uh, alpha, uh, you know, momentum signals over here because uh, some of you uh, might get a little bit confused by the uh, momentum pools and uh, maybe would like to see a, a broader context. Well, I'm going to be very bullish above 21,400. Of course, that would be an incredibly uh, bullish run that we would have been having. Uh, my bullish buy 
bias, of course, is above that 20,600 at the top of that uh, alpha momentum pool. Uh, we really don't want to lose 20,300 because of the two to five day projection, but that is just a projection for the uh, next uh, 24 hours. Essentially, uh, you can front run bullishness as long as we're above $20,050. Uh, you can front run bearishness as long as we're uh, below $19,980. Uh, I don't really officially get bullish until above 20,600, and I don't really officially get bearish until below 19,400, but those are those uh, front runnable numbers. I am just creating this zone uh, to help kind of uh, parse out this uh, little zone of ambiguity between bullish and uh, bearish, and so uh, that's why these are just the little, uh, you know, skinny uh, dotted lines. Uh, you know, where it's an ish, right? Bullish ish, bearish ish. And then, of course, uh, we're going to lose all of our momentum um, if we uh, cross below 17,800. Now, guys, uh, my signals are based on four different types of momentum spread over five different time periods. And so, this is uh, my own pri uh, proprietary, uh, you know, signal system that I have developed. Uh, the alpha momentum pools are my own uh, proprietary, uh, you know, based basically signal boxes uh, to be, uh, you know, uh, a visual interpretation of what's going on. Uh, we have just been absolutely killing it over here at Alpha Commission uh, with this new system that I put in place. And so I am going to continue analyzing on this uh, with this style. Uh, however, you do see that we are in a uh, potential uptrend where we do have uh, higher lows, right, uh, being developed, and we also have higher highs. Uh, the next one would likely be a uh, higher high here, uh, basically confirming this as a, a higher low, at least on these uh, shorter uh, time periods. And so it does look like we have a nice uh, little trend going here. Um, if we do look at volatility, uh, we can see that on the uh, four hour, um, our volatility is essentially uh, just contracting. It's just, um, we're, we're basically consolidating. If we go over to the daily, uh, you can see that uh, we are continuing to expand. And since price action is going to the upside, then that expansion uh, looking like it's only halfway done. You know, if we take a level like this, it looks like it's only halfway done. Then, uh, you know, this is a good sign for a possible continuation, especially as we have the two day just just screaming volatility like the uh, one day used to be doing and the four hour used to be doing and it's also pushing up while price action is going up that is a good sign uh, we also have uh, the uh, stokes in our favor and that won't turn down until under 19,530, essentially validating my $19,600 uh, level according to uh, momentum. And then I do believe that uh, the three day is actually starting to join in as well. I think if we look at the five day, the five day is just consolidating, which does suggest that uh, the five day and perhaps also the week, yeah, also the week could end up doing a, a reversal on us. So just watch out for those five day and uh, seven days signals, uh, probably, uh, you know, taking effect sometime uh, around when Jerome Powell and the Federal Reserve uh, make uh, updates to their policies. And so uh, just to be careful, that five day and that weekly volatility could throw a huge curveball, could just boomerang us in the other direction with an extreme intensity of volatility uh, that could cause uh, whiplash. OK, guys. Uh, but uh, as for the time being, I think until then, because of that positive CP, uh, PCE data that we did get, uh, which I did cover in uh, the uh, last episode, I think we can consider uh, that we are probably going to continue through this range. Uh, you know my targets. I'm going to continue to be uh, bullish if we're above 21,400. Uh, and uh, guys, uh, things are looking pretty good. So uh, as I told you uh, several episodes ago, uh, when I was pointing out down here that this was the play to take, right? And then we've just gotten a whopping, right? Uh, you know, 9% out of Bitcoin. Bitcoin, guys, Bitcoin doesn't move that much. So a 9% out of Bitcoin, right? Which uh, if you're on a 20X uh, leverage or if you're doing altcoins of certain types, uh, could be an incredible uh, jump in price. I 
I mean, this was just a brilliant call over at AlvaFam. We are absolutely killing it. Going to continue with the system. Uh, thank you guys so much for uh, sticking with me uh, as I've uh, basically uh, parsed out and uh, developed my style over the last year. I hope that I've helped protect a lot of you from the uh, beginning of the bear market when I was giving uh, strong warnings even as uh, the moon boys were going crazy with uh, telling you to uh, buy every dip and I was saying no 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 please do not uh, you know this is a macro environment uh, you know shift that we are entering uh, to the uh, downside on a uh, you know uh, commodities uh, super cycle and that has just proven to be true so uh, guys I'm going to continue to try to protect you going to continue to try to improve uh, my style uh, over here at Alpha Commission we are just uh, lifelong learners we are continuous learners who want to improve ourselves so that when the bull market comes we are just going to absolutely dominate and kill the market all right so guys uh, that was your alpha for the day uh, stay safe and happy trading